Hey everyone, this is a quick video regarding 3M Worktoons where the earpieces have begun to disintegrate and I ordered some replacement pads on Amazon. There are actually quite a few different listings on Amazon. This one says made in China. It does have the 3M logo on the adhesive backing strips, so that's a good sign. The texture on the pads looks the same. So I'm going to quick remove these and put these on. And I actually have some uh, tree maintenance to do. So I'm going to be using these for hearing protection today. Oh, well, that was not on there very well. Uh, interesting. It just popped right off. I guess there's not a lot of adhesive left. In fact, it's not even sticky to the touch. I think I'll clean this with isopropyl alcohol. By the way, there are no instructions that came with these new ones. Okay, so there's some isopropyl alcohol. Take some paper towels. This. A nice little clean. Dirt is coming off, which is fine. Makes sense. I do yard work with these headphones. Sort of flip that over for the dry part. You know, being isopropyl alcohol, it's going to dry quickly because that just evaporates. And clean anything off of the speaker part. Now, one interesting thing is I would recommend that you do not put on bug spray while wearing these. Take these off. Because I did that one time, and later on, I realized, wow, it did a trick on the plastic here. See that? That's just spraying like off or any kind of deep woods sort of bug spray. It kind of disintegrated or eats away at the plastic. So you may want to take these off before putting on bug spray. It's very simple packaging. Just a Ziploc bag. Okay, sure. That feels nice and dry. Just clip my nails. That always happens, doesn't it? Clip your nails and then you have something to do that needs nails. It always works that way. Either that or you drop a nickel and you try to pick it up and you fail. Okay. There we go. Your piece number one. Oh, yeah, it's. Perfect fit, really. Just push it in all the way around. Can you hear it actually kind of snap into place? Oh, this is going to be so nice. The other ones that are falling apart, um, basically I'd come in from doing yard work and one of my family members would say, hey, there's some black stuff on your face. So this would just be coming off and sticking to my face. Okay, your piece number one looks great. Your piece two coming up. That was better. I hope you can hear that where it actually snapped into place. Just going to try to press each of the surfaces. Get a good bond with that cleaned off surface. Do it again on the first one. Oh, there's another snap. So we want this to last. I think I bought this at a local store, so I don't know exactly when I bought them. That's before I started tracking purchases of anything, um, so I'd have to guess they're probably 10 years old. This is an older model. Okay, there they are. I'll use them and I'll update you later on, you know, the hearing protection aspect of it and the comfort and whatnot after actually using them. Okay, so I finished taking down an evergreen tree on the side of the garage. We started out with these possibly 10 year old ear pads from my 3M work tunes and I used the freshly installed replacements I got on Amazon and they worked very very well. They were comfortable, they provided the same hearing protection that the originals did. Since I am drenched 
from being out there for hours, cutting down a tree with a chainsaw and cutting it up into firewood. That was several straight hours of hard labor. I'm just, I'm drenched. So being that I was drenched, these got drenched. So I just wiped them down with a paper towel when I got inside. And that's what I recommend. You know, you're gonna sweat inside the headphones. You just wanna wipe them down when you're done. And that'll increase the longevity of the ear pads. So overall, I'm happy. I'd recommend these. They were, I think, under $10. I'll put a link in the description for you. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video.